Holy Spirit. Close the note. I only see six electrons. Three bonds on that nitrogen, right? Two, four, six. We need the octet. The little alien comes in. It's negatively charged with electrons, right? Color little green man. So this is our new taurine. This is the amino acid that cats need to eat meat for. Dogs can make this. And that's what started me out on that venture to get the information on this, was I thought taurine was one that the dogs needed, but apparently they can make it. But I'd still give them meat anyway to make sure that they get it. Human beings, even though you can make it, it helps to get a surplus of it. So even if you're vegetarian, for your essential fats, taurine is one of the ones that you'll get from eating that also. So there it is with the star. There it is with the circle. Either way is correct, but I prefer the star because it's got the six bonds to it. I think it looks a lot cooler. And that S in there looks just like Superman. here. Since we got the new sulfur star we've been working on, we're going to change things around a little bit here. We had our polar molecules before. These were the amino acids. Back this up a little bit here. Not much, huh? Okay, so cysteine amino acid and methionine amino acid. These were important ones. These were the only two with sulfur in them. So here we drew them, the sulfur circles. This was with our chalk bin, stuff we found in the recycle bin. This is the early days before we colored them in. Do you remember these? So we're going to draw cysteine again with sulfur stars. So let's see how that works out. Great, we got all this paper from the, the dumpster, and we're going to recycle it, which means we get to use the best, what do we call it, uh, resume paper here. So how do we do this again? Remember when we were drawing amino acids? We got our triangle, because we want all these to line up. Line up the amino acid, one side's going to have triangle over here we've got the diamond and if I recall we drew the diamond in the middle right and we've got an O up here always draw the O first it'll make it easier when we do our triangle connectors so this goes side to there this goes side to the bottom carbon C and see, we've got to get in the habit of drawing ends bigger. Nitrogen is bigger than carbon. Oxygen's even bigger. So the point we're focusing on here is down below here. So what are we going to do first? We're going to do cysteine, I guess, first. Colored pencil seems to be working better than the pen, so we're going to stick with that. Cysteine, C-Y-S-T-E-I-N-E. 
CYS is the three-letter designation. That's a good one. I agree with that. So cysteine, um, let's color in the backbone here so we can get this thing looking more colorful. Do our hydrogens. We got that third one for the end there. We got, whoop, this one's going down. So let's at least draw another triangle here so we can color that one in. It's usually always a carbon coming off that. So those are done. Let's color in the backbone so we get this thing looking more colorful. And remember, now that we're proficient at this, don't color it in until we're done. And try not to get too far ahead. Like, don't start drawing the side chain down here before we colored these in, if we're done. They got the H's on them. Oxygen. See, I did the oxygen first. I didn't color in the carbon, even though I had them drew in with the pen. So now the carbon. We need more color in there. How about blue? N, Schroeder diamond in the middle, carbonyl diamond up there, the diamond ring, remember? It's not a ring for the carbons, but so. Amino acid backbone, the side chain, cysteine here. One carbon bonds to the sulfur. Let's use the green here. So we'll start our triangle that way. Now we can use green because it's in the same family as oxygen. So maybe this will work better here. Do a green outline on it. And the highlighter works really good, doesn't it? So we're going to stick with the colored pencils here instead of the ink. Well, this outline in the S actually worked better with the ink. So there's sulfur. Two bonds on this guy. It's a terminal sulfide, they call it, when it's on the end. It's carbon guts two. Carbon's done, color it in. So get this down, because we're going on to some graduate level topics next. So drawing little simple amino acids. This should be second nature to us by now. The new sulfur star, this works out good. The two points here are actually what the little green man's head is. So see, we account for all six bonds, even though we're only using two. This is real chemistry, kids, I'm telling you. It's yellow. I'm coloring a whole bunch around here because it's, you know, sulfur's got a lot of electronegativity around. A lot of electrons out there. So then if you want, you can even color in the little green men green because it is green, right? So since now his eyes disappear, we'll color that in with a darker. And draw it out there like a little electron tornado because that's really what it looks like in 3D space. Use ink pen, two little eyes. There's our alien. Up here, there's two aliens if you really want to get into it. Nitrogen's got one lone pair of aliens. So we should have drawn the sulfur bigger. See, we got to get, the more we do this, the more our habits will be coming through. So that's cysteine. Now we have methionine which is going to be the same thing, except it's going to have a methyl on the end of this. So 
let's see if we can draw that to scale better